Hello again. Uh, perhaps it makes sense to look at um, two or three or more dimensional arrays instead of looking at 1D arrays or vectors because we've seen in the last video that it's quite simple to you know access any elements by the index and, and to mani manipulate them. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to create an array of 90 elements. So ARR has from 0 to 89. And then we're going to reshape it. So if we say reshape, we'll create a two-dimensional array, let's say, of nine rows and ten columns, and we'll save that into basically the same array. So now ARR is nine by ten, nine rows by ten columns. Um, as you can see, each row now is a vector, right? From zero to nine, from ten to nineteen, and so on and so forth. Now, if I'd like to access any elements, always remember it's rows by column. Uh, I'm sorry, it's rows by column. So nine rows and ten columns. The first one is always the row. If I wanted to access the element in the first row, meaning in the first array, um, and the second column, then I should use zero and one because we said index starts at 0 and it goes to n minus 1. So ARR of the first row, which is 0, comma, the first column, I'm sorry, the second column, which is 1, and that will give me 1. If you remember, this is what the array, or now it's called the matrix because it's two-dimensional. This is what it looks like. Array of 0, 1 is, this. so this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, and so on and so forth. And this is... Um, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and so on and so forth. Forget about the numbers. Uh, you can see these are the indices, the index values. Okay? This is index 1, 0. This is index 2, 0. Uh, these are just the numbers coincide, but uh, uh, we should have maybe had um, an array of random numbers to, for, for things to make sense. So we can use, like we said, 1, 3, or we can use this with... Uh, separate square brackets. It will give you the same thing, right? This is the second element, so this is the element. Give me the element on the second row and the fourth column. The second row and the fourth column. The second row, one, two, and the fourth column, one, two, three, four. It's 13 as we saw uh, when we applied that. Uh, what else can we do here? Um, so, like we mentioned before, if we, and we can have even um, something more complicated. So, reshape, let's say, uh, 9 by 2 by 5. 9 by 2 by 5, and now the array will look like this. We will have 9 arrays. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Each of them is 2 by 5. Each of them has 2 rows and 5 columns. So if I wanted to access the element, let's say, from the uh, from array from the 5th array, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, that means index 4, I can say, if I want to access the whole uh, array, I can say that. And it give me the entire array. Right? Let's remind ourselves of what it looks like. So the 5th array is... 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, it's this array, exactly the same. Now, if I wanted the first element, now notice the array is 2 by 5. So if I say, if I get 0, that will give me only the first row, which is a vector. Okay? Only give me the first row, as you can see. And then if I want now the third element in that, I can say third element means index 2, add 2, and it should be 42. Right? Exactly the same idea applies if you increase the number of dimensions. You just need to have maybe some imagination, but you can do it practically by uh, experimenting with the code as we have done now. So I hope the idea of indexing makes sense. It's very important to understand this. Always bear in mind that index starts at 0 and uh, index starts at 0 and goes to n minus 1, where n is the number of elements. And if you remember the range that we uh, so last time, I, will, I always try to uh, iterate this because uh, it can be tricky. We can 
uh, forget that for example the range is always from n to from a to b minus one so b the the, the, the limit is not uh, included unless if we leave it open uh, uh, or, or control it properly these things i try to always iterate them so we understand them fully right let's stop here and in the next video uh, i've not decided yet but let's have some some uh, look at some ar other array functions or maybe try to transpose an array and play with it right so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video